family it's your girl felicity princess and i am back with another video in today's video i actually am honored to present to you guys a special guest and the special guest is my mother so for today's video we actually have a never have i ever if you are not familiar with never have i ever it's just a game where i'll name things that we may have done or we may not have done and we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video so never have i ever gotten stitches know if i have you have when what <laughs> y'all i never knew this when did you get stitches <laughs> when i had you <laughs> thank you so much oh, and your brother Ooh. oh my goodness i'm so sorry yeah. you surgery too man that is so sweet we appreciate it that is such a blessing thank you thank you seriously okay never have i ever ridden an animal I've ridden a horse before. Me too. Yes. And you've actually, horses. you rode an elephant as well. Oh, yes. I yes. Did it it's lit. It's so exciting for you. Okay. Never have I ever broken a bone. Never. Sorry if you have ever broken a bone. That sucks. You have it. Okay. I have. Wait, hold on. You have? Mom, have wait. <laughs> Clearly, like what? This is back so new. Surgery. Remember, I have patches oh, on yeah. my back. Yeah. Dang, I just oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Y'all, I love my mom so much. She's been through so much. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be a story time, maybe if she wants to give that story oh, time sure. on my channel. Love she's sharing testimony. She had cancer and she's free of it. So I praise God. <laughs> that just gave me chills. Okay. Never have I ever chipped a tooth. <laughs> Ooh, thank God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Strong bone. Okay. Never have I ever had a bad allergic reaction. I have to pollen. I was pollen. Yeah, that was probably the worst allergic reaction I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I've had it to pollen and then <laughs> do that cancer journey. Oh, oh yeah. When I first got sick. <laughs> sick while I was going through everything mm -hmm. uh, they were giving me all these herbs I went through a holistic yeah. treatment they were giving me all these herbs and I just broke out I was like whoa oh, my skin oh, is baby. usually clean oh yes you're on? right yeah but it was good because I detoxed I had to come off of everything I was taking and yeah went to a dermatologist got a facial I was back thank god we got her god back healing. yes he is all the time thank you god Thank you, thank you. Never have I ever worked at a fast food restaurant. I've never touched a fast food restaurant. No. We have not worked for a fast food restaurant. Never have I ever pressed send and then immediately regretted it after. I think they're saying towards like a text message. I definitely have. What did you do? I have. So many times I can't even remember. Well, I'll name one time. I accidentally text someone i was dating their parent so i meant to text them but i text their parent instead and so to this day i <laughs> y'all she was so sweet about <laughs> well what you was it a good one or? no it was she's gonna hopefully i don't know if she's gonna watch this but if she does she's gonna know that we're here pretty interesting what i text her what did you do uh -oh. <laughs> No, I really can't remember. She said so really? many times. I'm like, she said so many times. That. Yeah, Ooh, that was probably the only time that. I was in regret about something I seen. Mm. Never have I ever taken part in a talent show. Talent show. Okay, when I was in high school, I probably we did. did uh, I think we sang. In I think I remember. Yeah. Yeah, have, you sang. I feel like I have, but I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Have I? You probably have been in a performing arts high school. Yeah, sure I feel like have. I have, but just don't remember. Because they said talent show, so I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a part of your education <laughs> Exactly, <experience. laughs> yeah, so I have. 
Never have I ever picked my nose in public. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, these questions. I have, Ooh. I was not in public public. I'll be in the car. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's really fond of doing <laughs> I just don't like to see boogers in my nose. And your Aunt Monica, she's Yeah, like, she doesn't play that. I and with allergies and stuff, I mean, you're going to have dried up mucus, which is what a booger is. So. You definitely will, for yeah. sure. Never have I ever fallen asleep in the movies. Yes! <laughs> I actually have one I'm getting on her, but she falls asleep so much, y'all, in the movie theaters. It's my thing. I go late at night and she and her brother. Yes, he actually go fall to sleep. asleep. Yeah, he will. First. Never have I ever been in handcuffs. Oh, jeez. Do we have to go through this? <laughs> I have not, thank God. Mommy, my you life, you my life. To them Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, I was not a criminal. Um, however, I was coming from a missions trip. And um, so. With missions, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual walk. So on our, well, it was a week after we got back. The enemy was not happy with all of those souls that we were able to minister to. So, yeah, yeah going through Fayetteville, they pulled me over for going through stop sign, which I know I stopped. Yeah. So they checked my license and they said it was suspended. So mm -hmm. I was like, suspended? My license should not be yeah. suspended. What is this about? Right. So, yeah, so check y'all. Make sure that your license is always up and good because Please. I was just sure that my license was fine. But what had happened was I it was a previous ticket I had Yeah. going to Grenadier Workers' House down oh. south. So be careful going through yeah. Zebulon. If you've ever been cops, to Tavistan or know what that is, that's a part of Georgia. It's crazy. So anyways, the judicial system failed because I paid that ticket they didn't take out of the system it got cleared up they ended up apologizing they said oh we're sorry we're gonna clear your record yes but i said yeah but that experience was yes horrific. i hate that you even had to go through that seriously but you know i felt good because then i felt like i would had experienced something yeah, that i could share with other people so yep, testimony to say you know god can get you through anything it's make the positive. best out of every I love moment it. you have to you literally have to i love it's crazy you. praise me. god you're here today <laughs> the next one is never have I ever lied to my parents about where I was going. I actually, dang, I'm looking. <laughs> Y'all, wait a minute. She didn't even pull. A, <laughs> she didn't even pull a paper okay. up. Mom, what? <laughs> I don't think I have done. What did you? Where were you going? <laughs> well. My parents were very, very strict. Oh, no. Thank God they're not here today to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You don't remember where you were going? It was just like young stuff. Yeah, it was young stuff. In yeah. college, you know, I didn't. You said in college. I didn't communicate a lot with my mom yeah. about where I was going. But mm. I would pop up in Atlanta. I wouldn't come to see She said just pop up. <laughs> oh, mama, please forgive me. Well, at least you're honest about it. But like, I was going cool. visit visiting people in Atlanta, and yeah. I just didn't tell her. <laughs> never have I ever been robbed. Mm. I've never been robbed. Thank God that I never have. I have experienced everything on this list. What in the what? world, Ma? You've never told me that. Who robbed you? What the hell? No, I, well, okay. Let me say this. I wasn't robbed on, you know. Like, taking any yeah i wasn't no one ever approached me robbing me that way oh thank god but i was robbed by my car i was oh yeah i do remember that like yeah they kept taking times. your stuff your that cds yeah i do remember that dang that is considered robbed yeah yeah because they broke into it felt violated yeah. they stole pictures and stuff like i had picture i had a briefcase in there yeah which i learned another lesson she can't keep anything, anything in your, your car, car. Like, mm -mm. no, yeah, no you bags, just, no anything mm -hmm. because people they're looking, they will still know where these you days are too with everything going on. So. Yes, never have I ever wanted to fall in love with my sister or brother's friend. Mm, no. <laughs> Let's see, she is that. so funny. Oh my goodness, uh, I find out so much stuff, y'all, because I, I have not. Know. No. She's actually, she actually has way more siblings than me. It's I just have like five sisters. Yeah, she has. So you might have, been, but I have not, y'all. Um, That's not my brother's friends. Are they're cute? Well, they're just not. Mm -mm. 
I'll just say I have my, mm -hmm. as far as I know. Yeah. I can't think off the top of my yeah. head. No. Now, if they were in this conversation. Yeah, they probably they would have different, different stories. I no. Know. I can't think of anything it's okay. right now. Yeah. Never have I ever sn snuck into a party. No. I was always of age. I don't even like partying, to be completely honest. Hey can say I have an idea. Okay, well that's good. I'm not a big party person. Me either. Never have I ever eaten food that fell on the floor. Had. But it was like a, when I was younger, they would say five second rule, so. <laughs> I did the five second rule too. Especially if it was something it's I something really good. wanted. Like, it, like, oops, let me hurry up and get it. I don't want to be contaminated. I have. But today and now. Yeah, no, Corona. Corona. That's why I said when I was younger, this is something I did. Never have I ever gotten drunk. Uh -huh. Everyone is first. I am I too, so why. I mean. It's okay. It's okay. It is I won't it is. say where. <laughs> I do not recommend that and please don't drink if you're under 21 number one and then if you are 21 please if you're gonna try getting drunk which i don't recommend but if you do you know want to try it i definitely recommend doing it with family people you can trust not people that can potentially take advantage of you because that's not okay never have i ever swam naked in a pool or beach no <laughs> i have not I am not. Okay, yeah. Never have I ever kissed someone of the same sex. No. Sorry, I like guys. <laughs> yes, I have not. Don't plan on it. Never have I ever traveled by plane. No, oh, of course. That's all we travel. Well, sometimes we travel by car, but we've definitely tra tra traveled by plane. We love planes. Never have I ever fallen in love with someone through <laughs> social media. I'm gonna say I have not. I would say I have not. Yeah. Never have I ever cheated on a test. Ooh. And if you have not, kudos to you. But I definitely have as a, <laughs> as a kid's question. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Okay, y'all. Like, comment down in the comment section below if you've ever done some of this stuff so she won't feel bad. Because, my so many people have done this. <laughs> I have. And, and he is still alive. My math <laughs> teacher in high school. It happens. It, it definitely happens. Yeah, it gets hard. I don't even want to take calculus. It gets really hard. People yeah, can't it say hard. they have it. It's very difficult. Yeah. And, you know, back in high school, I, I mean, my mom was strict. So if I failed a class. It was done. It was done. That's probably why you're so sweet to TJ and I. Like, you're really mellow. I mean, you stayed on us with our grace, but it wasn't like. Oh, I'm gonna beat you up like it was it. Nothing like that. Yeah, with all my experiences. Yeah. <laughs> she's a really nice much. mother. And she's nice in regards to, you know, just knowing we're human. So I appreciate it. I really do. Never have I ever skipped a class. I definitely have. But not till high school. And it was when we would have substitutes and they were really just mean yeah, substitutes. you told me about that yeah i did see like i'm really open I and honest to be about a it substitute teacher, so <laughs> she gave yes. me the low down yes i did you had to really really advice. think about that one day. yes i don't think i oh, have you're good? that's so good nice. you're better than me yeah i did nice school. because i would fuss i had friends that was kept and everything <laughs> and so i was on them reels about you know show up yeah be present. Last never have I ever is never have I ever taken a shower with the opposite sex. Let's skip that question. <laughs> well, we don't have. Okay, well, we can skip that one. Ooh. Personal stuff. Okay. Never have I ever rode on a motorcycle. Oh, oh have I? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. That's so with cool. Your daddy. That's so. He got a motorcycle. He had one. Wow, that was when we were dating. Not, yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have tried. It's a good, it's a good experience. Wow. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Mom, for doing this with me. <laughs> I genuinely I appreciate know. it. This was like, oh, personal stuff. Yes. Thank oh. you so much, Mom. If you want to tell them your Instagram name, feel free to do so. Oh, sure. Follow yeah. me on Hair Therapy Studio. Um, I am CEO and I'm a natural hair care specialist. Yes. Hello. She just happened to be blessed during quarantine. So I book her. <laughs> and again, like I always tell you guys on social media, I do have a $5 off code. 
it is fearlessly princess and that's in any style of your choice on her website booking well thank you again mom for Thanks being for on my channel me. i'm gonna go ahead and get into the fearless family check-in all right guys so now it's time for the fearless family check-in if you are new to my channel welcome to fearless family the fearless family check-in is basically an obstacle that i have for the day and how i overcame it today's obstacle was realizing i had a list for my life so i had these goals and these aspirations that i felt personally like they were meant for me to accomplish for my life and how i overcame it was remembering that none of life would be possible without god and that i truly want whatever it is that god has for my life for me i don't want things that i made up that he's looking down on me like princess this is not what i have laid out for your life this is not what I have for you so I just don't want to be defiant to whatever it is that God has for my life so when I say that I realized that I had a list for my life it was me putting out all of these different things that I felt like I was gonna get done at a certain age so whether it was marriage whether it was having a specific amount in my savings by doing something specific just all of these different goals that I have for myself and nothing is wrong with having goals either so I don't want you all to listen to me and think oh well, well Felicity Princess said that it's a problem having goals nothing is wrong with having goals like definitely have goals but before you make your goals pray about your goals like, literally have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with God about them to make sure that that's exactly what God has for you because the last thing you need is to be having these goals that you personally thought were the goals that God had for you and all along that's not what he had for you so now he's making detours in your life trying to get you out of what you thought was for you so the obstacle that I had for the day fearless family was making a list personally and going by that list of things that I thought that were going to be my reality and how I'm going to overcome it as well is by ripping it up so I know I told you all in the last video to make a vision board that was actually the last how to enjoy quarantine 101 and if you have not checked out that video stop this video go watch that video then come back to this video but i did tell you all to make a vision board nothing's wrong with vision boards or like i said having these dreams and aspirations that you have for yourself but it does become a problem when you don't talk to god about it first like it's always what he wants for your life not what we want so i'm gonna actually rip up my because if it doesn't involve God, it's never going to happen, you know? So, if you made a vision board and it wasn't something that you spoke to God about first before doing, rip it up. And I actually got this rip it up method from Pastor Michael Todd. He preaches for a transformation church. I watch his services now every Sunday because of Gabby. So shout out to my cousin Gabby for putting me on to him as a pastor in transformation church in general. But yeah, just rip it up. Rip up whatever it is that you thought you wanted for your life that you know good and well. God did not say that he had that for you. So rip it up again you all do not have to rip up your vision boards if you've actually had a conversation with god about the goals and the aspirations that you have for yourself and god said that's what he had for you as well i gotta rip it all up got to rip it all up because i didn't pray about any of this with god we did not have a discussion about it these were literally just things in my head that i'm like oh oh i said i wanted to get done before this age but was it what god said that he had for you to get done probably wasn't so yep this is what i'm gonna do this is what i have done to overcome that obstacle of the list of things that i had and it can be a list that you had of things that you expected in a man so you wanted a man to be nice tall dark handsome straight teeth for guys it can be a woman with a big booty big chest money in her savings no kids and like i said y'all nothing is wrong with having these goals and these standards but just make sure you're praying about it because at the end of the day it's up to god no matter what you don't run anything you don't run this world you don't run these women you don't run these men you don't even run your pockets <laughs> you don't run that job like whatever god has for you let it be for you so that is my fearless family check-in for the day having a list out for my life and then how i overcame it was ripping up that list i no longer have that list i'm taking everything 
up to God. All things in my life are getting taken up to him no matter what because I don't run this, he does. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for making it to the end of this video. If you made it to the end of this video and you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also too, just to give you all a heads up, I'm going to start doing post notification shout outs. So if you do have that bell turned on so where you get every single notification every time I post the video, please comment down in the comment section below, post notification family. So that way I know that you have your post notifications on and you're subscribed. That way I can shout you out in the next video and I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna look at the comments and pick whoever has commented post notification family. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you do have your post notifications turned on. That way you can possibly be featured in my next video with a shout out. So again, thank you all so much for making it to yet another video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down in the comment section below positivity or you can comment post notification family turned on and I'll be back with another video. All right, fearless family, checking out. She's one of a kind, divine and a prime, energy out of mystic, her swag is